Hello, Haley Backwards here. Does the command line scare you? If so, you'd better turn away because the rest of us are gonna get our freak on with karaoke from the command line. Karaoke effect, five second tutorial. Number one, install socks. Number two, run the following command. Play, mp3 file name goes here, O-O-P-S. It's good to be alive Sometimes I wonder how I Karaoke effect, big fat disclaimer. Number one, the karaoke effect is not magic. Basically how it works is by eliminating this theoretical center channel. So it will remove anything that was center panned. So if that was the vocal, fantastic. If it wasn't, the vocal's not going to disappear. So it's always better to have access to the individual audio tracks or stems, if you will, if you can get them. Demonstration time! If you want a real world example of why it's always better to have access to the stems, here, listen to this while well, we're going to play the original, then the karaoke effect, and then the actual official instrumental version. I say hi there to my bad body devil. Um, mm, this is my bad body devil trouble. Oh no, my bad body devil. Um, mm, mm, I've got bad body devil trouble. Oh. Socks versus play, play versus socks. When do you use one? If you want to just play it live, just have some fun, use the play command. If you actually want to write it to disc, so I don't know, if you want to throw it on your iPod or something, use socks. Karaoke effect bonus tip. First, if any of these commands seem foreign to you, you probably shouldn't try this at home. But if not, CD to the directory where your audio files are stored, make the oops, or whatever you want to call it, and then run the lovely for loop I have shown to you in this slide. And this is where I say, your mileage may vary. I use this in Z shell without a problem. If you have problems in another shell, I have no idea. And now with one last opportunity for me to get sued, Jenny Bagren, play us out.